Hello and welcome back to another Flora and the Novs Explorers video. In October of 2019, we travel around Austria in our self-converted camper van called Flora. We entered Austria from Fussen in Germany. We checked out Seefeld and then Zell am See and adventured as far as the Gross Glockner. We only had a week in the country as we weren't kitted out ready for the winter season, but more on that later. So the first thing on the list really surprised us and that is dash cams. They are completely illegal in Austria and if you're caught using one you can face up to a 10,000 euro fine. So we made sure to completely remove ours and stash it away in the glove box for the duration of our trip. Which was slightly unfortunate because a big eagle flew down in front of us as soon as we entered the country but we had no footage of it which is uh, upsetting but not worth 10,000 euros. It is advised that you turn off any speed camera radar detection system off your sat-nav as it is illegal in most European countries. The same goes for using your phone at the wheel, it's a no-no. Only hands-free units are allowed. To drive on Austria's autobahns and S-roads you'll need to buy a vignette, which is essentially a toll sticker. We bought a 10-day toll sticker for €9.20, but other options include a two-month one and an annual pass. The purchase was actually super easy for us. The first garage we went into uh, on the Germany-Austrian border, we mentioned the word vignette, bam, we had it there ready to fill out. But you can also buy digital version in advance as well online. And these prices are based on a private car or motorhome under 3.5 tonne. But if you're over 3.5 tonne, you'll need to get a go box. If you want to risk not buying a vignette, then the fines run up to 120 euros. So for us, it was a no-brainer. We had a lot of miles to cover to get the place we wanted to see. We needed to use the quickest methods possible. And for nine euros, it just made sense. From November the 1st to the 15th of April, your vehicle must be equipped for the winter season. This includes having winter tyres fitted, even if there's no snow on the road. There's a 35 euro fine, but if you are caught not complying and deemed to be endangering others, fines can go up to 5,000 euros. The use of snow chains is only permitted if the road is covered with snow or sleet. Snow and ice must be removed from the vehicle before you begin to drive from the roof, the windows, the lights and the reg plate. In Austria, the drink driver limit is 50 milligrams of alcohol found in 100 millilitres of blood. If you compare that to England and Wales, the limit there is 80 milligrams, so it's considerably less here in Austria. High-vis vests must be kept within reachable distance of the driver. These must be worn when exiting the vehicle, either on the hard shoulder or if you just have a breakdown. Regardless of what time of day, you need to be wearing your high vis. You also require a warning triangle and a first aid kit. And if you are driving a right hand drive vehicle in Europe, you will also need to fit headlamp deflectors. We bought a really handy kit which has everything that we needed to travel Europe safely. Link is down below in the description. It is illegal to wild camp in Austria and it is very much discouraged, so do it at your own risk. However, you are allowed to restore fitness to drive. For eight hours, you're allowed to rest in a public car park before continuing to drive on. So arriving late in a spot and leaving early and not returning may be the best way to go about this. We relied heavily on the Park for Night app to find us some wild camping spots and they actually turned out to be really good. These were tried and tested and reviewed by other people that didn't have any problems. And also we're slightly out of season so it was quieter you might struggle if say it was the middle of summer and there's a few more people about but for our purposes it was absolutely fine always stay discreet and be a responsible tourist never litter only leave footprints behind very softly spoken <laughs> However, there are a huge range of motorhome stops, campsites, farm pitches available, all obviously with a huge range of different facilities and prices. We did find though that you don't get as much for your money in Austria. Not quite. Once you've paid for your pitch, then anything else is pretty much an extra on top and it's not exactly 50 cents here, a euro there, it's usually a few more. So it does tend to add up a little bit quicker, but that's the price you pay for such stunning scenery. 
There's not many places where you can camp and just be surrounded 360 degrees by mountains, capped with snow and it's sunny and it's beautiful. So it is what it is. Yeah. As a photography and drone enthusiast, I was really excited to get to Austria to collect some really cool clips. I knew that the scenery would just be absolutely amazing. However, it is thought that Austria has some of the strictest drone rules in Europe. So as a hobbyist like myself, it was pretty much a no-go and we didn't get the drone out at all during our time in Austria. The biggest reason why we didn't fly the drone is because there are fines up to 22,000 euros if you do not have a permit. So you might be thinking, well, just get the permit. It's only nine pounds in the UK. In Austria, it's over 300 euros. So for us that were there for a week, it really didn't make financial sense. You'll need to have liability insurance and also follow the general drone code. There's also a lot of conflicting information about whether you're allowed to actually keep the videos and stills that you take. And because of all this, we just decided not to even chance it. The information we found was very hard to find and very contradicting. Some people say they flaunt the rules. However, we really didn't think it was worth the risk. The police make themselves very visible in Austria and we'd gotten used to Germany, which is very free and easy. We were also concerned with the amount of new rules and regulations we had to remember. Travelling through Austria can be slightly more expensive compared to some of the neighbouring countries. That's because you're probably going to have to pay for a few more campsites and tourist activities too. However, we found the diesel to be cheaper, just avoid the petrol stations on the side of the motorway. However, there was no real difference in the price of food. On reflection, Austria is a stunningly beautiful country with epic vistas. We thoroughly enjoyed our week adventuring and the rules and regulations should definitely not put you off visiting. We don't want this video to come across as if mere mega just moaning. We fully, fully understand why the rules and regulations are in place to keep the country as beautiful and unspoiled as it is. We will definitely return at some point, probably in the summer, to visit Vienna and the Lake region. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe for more, and if we've missed anything off this list, please add it to the comment section below. There's also a little bell button down below. If you press that, you get notified each time we upload a new video. And there's a whole host of links in the video description too that you should check out. One of those links is a link to our blog, www.campcomforts.co.uk. And there you will find more information on what we've discussed in this video and also our epic Gross Glockner blog too. So keep your eyes peeled for future content as we make our way further into Europe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. So keep your eyes peeled for future content as we continue our... <laughs> the use of snow changes... The use of... <laughs> Down in the description below, you'll find a kit that we bought which has everything that you could need in it to comply with this law. <laughs> Your turn. So we bought a really handy kit offline that can... So we bought a really handy kit off... off... So we... <laughs> Three, two, one. All snow and ice must be removed from the vehicle's roof, number plate, windows, and... We bought a 10 days... We bought a 10 days... We bought a really handy kit that... We bought a really handy kit on... We bought a really handy kit online that comprises... Oh. <laughs> Isn't that thing? Always stay discreet and be a responsible tourist. Take your litter with you, only leave footsteps. Foot, footsteps. I can't even make myself make sense. The police make themselves very visible in Austria and we'd gotten used to the way Germany travel was. <coughs> <laughs> so one thing that's... A... <laughs> the first thing on the top of our list surprised me. <laughs> what was I saying? The first thing on the list that really surprised us so we made sure to have completely... We're also concerned with about... We're also concerned... <clears throat> However, if wild camping is not your thing, then there are a huge... Mm, I don't think you should say that because you're not supposed to be. Yeah? I don't think so. Probably cut most of that out. <laughs> <sighs> right.